Welcome to Knife Chats. If you like this video, please take a moment to leave a comment. Thank you. So you left home to go wandering with your bindle stiff over your shoulder, but your bindle stiff let you down. Your stick broke. And now you're stuck with that heavy package and no way to carry it. Fortunately, you got your Swiss Army knife. And this video will show you how to use that corkscrew to carry your bindle. Okay, using the corkscrew to carry a heavy bag. If you're doing it right, you're putting no pressure at all on the, on the Swiss Army knife at all. You wrap the uh, bag around the corkscrew, you close the corkscrew up, slip it over the bag, see, and you're grabbing the knife like so. So the bag is actually being held in place by the knife, and you've got a good comfortable grip and there's actually no weight or anything on the corkscrew on the knife or anything because the knife is just closed up. You've just got a nice grip on the bag with the knife and the bag can be as heavy as need be because it's just a bag. If you can carry the bag, the knife can carry the bag. And this really comes in handy if you're like using a uh, piece of wire or something to haul around a, a heavy item or something because then you just pass the wire through the corkscrew Slip it between your fingers and you just carry whatever you have that's heavy in the hand using your knife as a comfortable grip. There's no weight on anything. Hope that helps. So step by step, how to use your Swiss Army Knife's corkscrew to carry a package. Well, plastic bags aren't that big of a deal. You saw that already in the video, but sometimes you have things that are bundled together with string or wire or something like that, and that can actually hurt your hand a little bit. So what you do is you pass the uh, string or wire through your uh, corkscrew, then close the corkscrew, making sure that the uh, line drops on both sides of the knife. So you have one on this side, one on the other side. And then what you're going to do is you're going to grip the knife with the uh, corkscrew facing upward and closed, obviously. And you let the lines drop in between different fingers. By doing this, you basically have stabilized the line so it's not going to slip, so your package will not shift. You've also stabilized the corkscrew so it's not going to get moved or jostled or get bent out of shape. And your knife itself has become the handle for the package, so you don't have to grip the wire or a thin string, which is going to hurt your hands more than the knife as a handle. And I find this corkscrew method better than the parcel hook on uh, the more modern Swiss Army knives, because the parcel hook um, does not stabilize the line, so the line can shift around and such. Um, plus, the parcel hook is dangling from the knife, and that means it is pulling on that back spring and such. So I'm not sure if it's damaging the knife or not. But in the case of this, you basically just have the line wrapped around your knife. So the most it can do is uh, damage the scales a little bit or something of that nature. And if you're really worried about that, then you could also um, put some padding on the uh, edges of the knife so that uh, the wire or cord will not cut into the uh, handles of the knife. But anyway, that's my take on using the corkscrew as a stabilizing point so you can turn your knife into a handle. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Knife Chats. And if you did, please like and share it with your friends. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode of Knife Chats is up online. Thanks again. Hope to see you soon.